Hey guys, Randy here with AT3Tactical.com. Are you ready for one of the easiest installs on your AR-15 or AR style rifle upper? Uh, well, we are just one loop, swoop, and a pull from your ejection port cover entering the game. Uh, whether it's a plain Jane, mill spec, or a poly, or maybe it's one that expresses your favorite to a sentiment. Let's talk installation of dust covers. And away we go, starting with our recommended tools list, uh, your dust cover itself. It should have come with a long pin and the silly looking ejection port spring and uh, your fingers. Personally, I like to keep a little brass hammer like yay uh, in case the pin needs a little persuasion, which is a common symptom of heavily seracoded parts. Uh, and I also have a little trick using these small curved pliers uh, for setting the spring. May or may not be better than using your fingers, but I like to tinker a bit. On to the good stuff, but switching it up a little bit on you today. AR-10 builder specifically, Aero M5 parts. Check out episode number three of the ultimate AR-10 builder's guide below. It's a deeper dive into your upper and receiver parts or episode six in the AR-15 series. And for the love of Uncle Sam Sr., please sign up to win this month's giveaway. We do it all the time. You can enter each one, do it. Here we go, step number one. Do you have your barrel nut installed already or not? It's a legitimate question because at any point in your AR-15 rifle's life, uh, you might feel compelled to swap this guy out, in which case, these steps also apply. No barrel nut, proceed to step number two, barrel nut present. Go check out how to install a barrel nut we did a little while ago, but watch it in reverse. Step number two, we are slapping our new dust cover into position and guide your long-winded pin uh, just a touch past the first dust cover retention slot. Getting a little technical here. Moving on to step three, in comes the dust cover spring with the long tail flat against the dust cover and here comes a fork in the road. Fork one. You can use your little fingies to spin that short-tailed spring end, hold it, and then hold it, and then set it in place and push the pin through to lock it in place. Fork in the road part deuce, drop your spring in place, grab the short tail with your little hook and hook ended pliers, give her the old wrap around, and then lock it in place. We've hit step number four, fully seating your dust cover pin, uh, so do that next. Most of the time, you won't need much more than some pressure with your finger to drive the pin home. Uh, but if yours is being a little stubborn, a couple taps will do the trick. Next step, you should be installing or reinstalling your barrel nut, then gas system, then handguard, then muzzle device, and so on. All of it starts right over here. And don't forget to join me in trying to give away the AT3 Tactical Farm one giveaway at a time. All the links are below. Barrel nut installs next. We'll see you there.